What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You watching the Raging Nation show, Transformers 4 Edition. This is just a web series where we talk about all things matter me for the production of the fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise, directed by Michael Bay. This is update number 75, and we got a lot of material to cover in this episode. So let's just get the shoutouts out of the way. And the shoutouts go to Dequan Uzaru Purcell, Adam Boyd, Alex Ortiz, Noah Bashore, Ariel Zanabria, and Alex Swigger. And thanks, Alex, for sharing with me this really cool photo of Optimus Prime made out of ice. Optimus Prime as an ice sculpture very very cool stuff i mean if you're going to be a part of the polar vortex in 2014 you might as well be making transformers out of ice all right have some fun out there all right but also stay safe thanks a lot alex for sharing that with me and also thank you to jizzy lanell for sharing with me this really cool comprehensive timeline of events about the production of Transformers Age of Extinction. Check it out, it's at TotalFilm.com. I'm gonna leave you the link for you to check out at the description box below, and you gotta check it out because it covers every single major event that took place since the announcement of the movie all the way to post-production, from announcing the title to announcing the cast to to to, to the filming in Detroit, sh Chicago, Hong Kong, uh, 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 China, and also the reveal of the, the Autobot characters and all that stuff. So very, very cool stuff. Be sure to check out the link. It's on the description box below. All right, so now let's talk about what happened at CES 2014. If you don't already know, Michael Bay was doing a presentation on the Samsung 105-inch curved Ultra HD 4K TV. Now, it didn't go exactly as planned. Uh, if you want to know what happened happened in, 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 in the presentation, check it out. On, check out my commentary on my other channel, youtube.com slash Rage and Rona Review, and you can know what happened. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the fact that Michael Bay has some exclusive footage that's going to be making the rounds to promote both Transformers Age of Extinction and the Samsung curved UHD 4K TV. TV. Now, when are we going to see this footage? <laughs> well, I don't know when we're going to see this footage. I don't even know what's going to be in this footage, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be some really cool action-packed, bombastic footage that really showcases the TV's potential. Because if you don't already know, the movie, Transformers Age of Extinction, is shot in every possible high-definition format. 6K, 4K, 2K, IMAX 3D, all that technology is being used. And this movie, Transformers Age of Extinction, is going to be the best-looking piece of cinematic art, <laughs> if you will, put on film. All right, And obviously, if he wants to have his, 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 his masterpiece put on film or at least shown on video in in, in home entertainment format you're going to want to you're going to want the best TV screen the best possible video presentation and that would be with the curved TV big screen ultra HD in 4K all right it's going to look fantastic now when is this uh, a sizzle reel or highlight reel and, and action packed footage is going to be shown. My guess is going to be the MTV Movie Awards. If you don't remember back in Transformers, or rather the, when Michael Bay was promoting Transformers back in 2007, he had some really cool footage to show at the MTV Movie Awards. And I think that the trailer, or rather the, the little highlight reel, was about a minute long. I think he's going to have something for us to show at the MTV Movie Awards. That's just my guess, all right? So, very, very cool stuff. Speaking of the technology at CES 2014, I mean, you know, Samsung obviously wants to work together with Michael Bay in promoting this TV, and mainly because it shows video in 4K. Now, why is this important to Michael Bay, and why does Michael Bay want to have a hand in, in, in the promoting of, of this TV? Well, first of all, they're using some really badass technology for Transformers Ex Age of Extinction, making this the most a most beautifully shot film in terms of the like visuals and, and video presentation and quality resolution all right um, you know ever ever put on film all right uh, first of all they're using new technology like the red epic dragon which shoots in 6k 
which is obviously better than 4K. They're sh shooting with the new Novo, uh, like little tiny camera, which actually shoots in 2K. It's smaller than a GoPro and it shoots in 2K. And of course, everything else shoots in 4K. And of course, they have the new smaller IMAX 3D camera, the first ever IMAX 3D camera, which uses the Phantom camera technology. They just double it up. And of course, they can create that IMAX 3D effect all right so very very cool stuff this is going to be a very amazing looking film in terms of its resolution quality and beauty <laughs> so i'm really excited about that all right so moving on let's talk about the dinobots okay or rather the toys because in a leaked walmart listing they revealed some characters now as we already know they're going to make leader classes of grimlock and optimus prime but there are a couple of other toys shown here under the listing of Transformers Movie 4 Sparkers. And they show characters doubled up with, with another character, uh, 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 namely Dinobots. So let me just read out what it says here, okay? Optimus Prime and Grimlock, all right? Bumblebee and Strafe, Wolf and Lockdown, Slug and Drift, Scorn and Crosshairs, and Slash and Hound. Now, if this is completely accurate, like as in like they 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 are it, it, like to completely confirm with the names, this confirms a number of things. First of all, it confirms there are five Dinobots. It also confirms that Lockdown is one of the main villains. It also confirms that the Corvette's name is not Slingshot. His name is Crosshairs. There you have it. Now we can we can assume that Strafe is Swoop. Now Slug is most likely the Triceratops. They probably not calling it slag, mainly because slag is a kind of a derogatory term in the UK. <laughs> so that's at, at least what I learned. But who the heck is Scorn and Slash? It looks like they're changing up the Dinobot cast. You gotta have Grimlock, but everybody else, all the other four Dinobots, at, at least their names, are thrown out the door and, 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 um, and, and uh, substituted with a brand new list of, of, of characters. Strafe, Slug, Scorn, and Slash. All right, now who are these guys? We're gonna find out in a minute, but let's talk about Lockdown, all right? Lockdown, his name seems to be thrown out a lot lately, and which kind of brings me back to this leaked, uh, 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 um, leaked uh, um, plot. Uh, uh, way back, at least six months ago, at least maybe eight or 10 months ago, they revealed the, a plot of Transformers 4. They didn't call it Transformers 4 back then. The, they didn't call it Transformers Age of Extinction back then. They called it Transformers 4. And the plot, uh, which was supposedly fake, says this. One of the villains of the film will be a character named Lockdown who has a ship full of decommissioned Transformers, including the Dinobots, which are somehow brought back to life by a captured Optimus Prime. Prime is joined by returning Autobot Bumblebee, and at one point both characters and potentially others will ride the Dinobots into battle in Hong Kong, which fits well within the announcement that the film would film partially in China with Prime on Grimlock and Bumblebee on a Pteranodon, Pteranodon presumably swoop. Now, I think that's beginning to look more and more accurate. Because we got Lockdown, we got the Dinobots, we got Hong Kong, we got uh, 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 Optimus riding on Grimlock, we got Bumblebee riding on Strafe, and then we have the listing of Dinobot Sparkers, which, which pairs up a Dinobot with an Autobot. So, I'm pretty sure that that little story synopsis is quite accurate, alright? So... Be excited because we're going to have Autobots riding on Dinobots, <laughs> which is completely new. All right. Speaking of completely new, check this out. This just, just got released or rather it got leaked. And that is some preliminary box art for some Transformers toys. Now check this out. It appears to show the Dinobot beast modes. Now this is really crazy. This, is, this just means that the five Dinobot beast modes have been revealed because we were always wondering, well, which Dinobots are gonna be in there? We already knew that Grimlock was gonna be in there as a T-Rex. We already know that, that Strafe, who we all usually refer to as Swoop, is gonna be there as a Pteranodon. Now, there's three more which we haven't really seen before. That's Slug, Scorn, and, and Slash, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Slug 
is this Triceratops looking guy, but the Triceratops looking guy has a Stegosaurus tail. All right, so it's kind of Snarl and Slag combined like a hybrid, and then they renamed him Slug. Now, I tried to look up, okay? I tried to do a Google search to find out if ever there existed a Triceratops with a Stegosaurus tail. Like, for example, like some kind of like, I don't know, some like a descendant of the Triceratops, right? I couldn't find anything, so I'm just gonna assume that this is some make-believe thing. Maybe it really does exist, and it is a really obscure dinosaur that we don't, that the general public doesn't really know about, but the fact is that we're gonna see a, a Triceratops with a Stegosaurus tail, all right? So, there you have it. Now, moving on, who is Scorn and who is Slash? Well, right here on this, this little, little toy mock-up, I mean, this toy packaging mock-up, I see a Spinosaurus, and I also see another two-legged uh, uh, carnivore, all right? And some people are thinking that it is a, uh, a Velociraptor, I don't believe it's a Velociraptor. A Velociraptor is just too small. And Michael Bay is always a kind of like a go big or go home type of guy. He likes all his things big, all right? You know what? The reason why he killed off Jazz was he was the smallest Transformer, okay? Now, the reason why he killed off RC was also because he, she is one of the smallest Transformers. He likes things big. There's no way he's gonna have a Velociraptor in Transformers Age of Extinction as representative as one of the Dinobots because the, the accurate size of a Velociraptor is just a little bit bigger than a king, and than a really tall human, all right? And that's not good enough for him, all right? That's gonna make for a very small robot mode. So I believe that, well, I've been doing a little bit of research and I believe that this 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 other two-legged carnivore is a ceratosaurus okay if you don't know what a ceratosaurus look it up okay the reason why i think so is because it's a two-legged carnivore just like a t-rex but it's it's got spines on the back of it not as big as the spinosaurus but it's got like very small spines that go along the top of its head to the back all the way to its tail so i think it's a ceratosaurus and you can check that out but the fact is that we have a Triceratops with a Stegosaurus tail, we got a Pteranodon, we got a T-Rex, we got a Spinosaurus, and a Ceratosaurus, all right? And there you have it. This is something big, okay? This, what we've just seen is something big. It might not be like a big deal to, to some people, but it's actually a big deal because they've literally confirmed the beast modes of the Dinobots. It's all confirmed. It's all been identified and there you have it. We just don't know which names go with which Dinobot. All right? And that's it. <laughs> that's all I gotta say in this video. So let's just do some really, really quick sh uh, a, a collection shoutouts. And the collection shoutouts go to Lewis for showing off this crazy display of his living room is this his living room i don't know but it's a transformer shelf and it's got a lot of stuff and i love the way it's organized and what's really cool is i like the top shelf the top shelf is awesome because you got jetwing prime or rather not jetwing prime but okay well he's got jetwing prime he's got jetfire he's also got a uh, buster optimus prime and also uh, optimus prime with the the jetfire add-on parts and he's also got the um the, the the weapon rack which is made out of his uh his trailer very cool lewis thanks for sharing that with me and also the next collection is from jonathan where he's got a lot of guys that i, I don't even recognize <laughs> i don't know who a lot of these guys are but um it's still a very cool collection i recognize ultra magnus and sentinel prime and wheeljack and smoke screen all right finally the last collection is from matthew and um it's his closet once you open his closet it's got freaking like 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 his his collection and it's got everything from g1 to generations fall of cybertron to prime and i love the way the top shelf is organized it looks like there's a whole bunch of leader classes on the top shelf and then um it's all in his closet it's a small walk-in closet and once you go in you are pretty much in transformers heaven all right so very very cool stuff great organization and thanks for sharing me the everything all your um your photos all right thanks guys lewis jonathan and matthew and there you have it that's all i gotta say in this video now i just want to ask you guys who do you think the three Dinobots are that, that I'm not sure are 
completely identified. I mean, we got uh, Slug, who I'm pretty sure is the Triceratops, but who is Slash and Scorn? Is it the Ceratosaurus or the Spinosaurus? Let me know in the comments section below and also let me know your thoughts and comments on anything that I've talked about. And there you have it. That's it for update number 75. We got more to talk about, talk about in update number 76. And we also got only just uh 24 days. 24 days until Super Bowl. 24 days until the Super Bowl teaser trailer very very exciting stuff a 30 second one and an extended one minute one which is going to make the rounds on the internet and just going to show us the first footage of transformers age of extinction be ready okay be very very ready <laughs> my name is alex Yu, and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel like me on facebook the raging nation also follow me on twitter at raging nation and i'll see you next time peace All right i said drift the bugatti veyron and check this out Drift is a samurai, which is freaking awesome.